It's your old buddy Microchip here, and I am playing Trains 19 Platinum Edition. And this is the Ultimate Mega Rod, also known as the UMR, and this is Episode 3. Yeah, that's right. And where we're picking up uh, on this uh, route here is with Graham. And Graham's got himself his SD70ACE, his SD40-2, and his ES44DC. That's some nice-looking engine right there. Okay, so um, looking here, well, let's go back to the front now. Uh, looking here, you can see we have a bunch of these going to Gunnison Co-op. And that's where he's at right now, is in Gunnison. Yes, he is. And Gunnison Co-op back until we get to the uh, these right here. So it's not all of them. Uh, some of them are going to Lyle uh, Silos. Uh, and then he's got some Ashley loads and stuff like that, where he's got other industries work down the line. So he's got a lot of these uh, here that you can see. He's got some boxcars that are going up, I think, to Lyle. And these are going to Lyle as well. And then back here, waiting patiently, is uh, Duke with all his empties that he's trying to bring into the yard. But he's being held here at this light because it's not his turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we are going to roll backwards in order to get uh, these first few uh, grain hoppers past this amount right here. All right. And there's my phone ringing. Okay. Distract. Slight distraction. We're okay. So, um... We're going to back it up to uh, pass this switch right here so that uh, this feller here, known as uh, Geoff, can come down, grab him, and he's going to stick him along with these right over here. Uh, so let's get that done. Here we go. All righty. Preparing to back up. Prepare to move and move. There he goes. The move has been started. Alrighty. Like I said, we're going to back them up till they're no longer following this switch. So we can change this switch. Like I said, have Geoff come in. Okay, no, 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 no. That's the, that's the wrong switch. I just glanced to my left and noticed that was the wrong switch. The right switch is right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get down on these. You got some seaboard systems. Some family line systems. Yep. CSX, of course, used to be. They bought out the seaboard system and the, uh, the Chessy system. If I'm not mistaken, but... I've been mistaken many times in the past. I could be mistaken now. Alrighty. Back this one on up. Look, that's a crowded platform over there waiting for one of the passenger trains to come by. Slow that down some here. There we go. Eh, that may not be far enough. It may still be following the switch. Let's uh, let's bag it up. At least to the first engine, I'm thinking. Because as we know, some of these switches, you gotta. It's the old country mile rule. You gotta back it up a country mile. All right, let's stop it right there. Hopefully, this is gonna be far enough. I'm thinking it is. Thinking of this, so we'll apply the hand. Whoop! What happened? Apply the handbrake. I hit some button wrong. Okay, uh, so let's go forward. There we go. No, no, no hey, oh, don't go crazy now. All right, just until he's no longer following this switch, and then we can get Jeff in action. Ready? 
he's no longer following it, but we gotta we gotta get him past so he's not past this first uh, switch on the ladder here. So he's not, you know, rubbing up against it. Now these, I believe, are also all Gunnison co-ops, right? Uh, what? <laughs> How come they're all with no destination on it? That's not right. Yeah, these should all be Gunnison co-op. Uh, I'll fix that in a little bit. Uh, at least I think they should be, right? Let me look at my old spreadsheet here. Uh, yeah, these should all be Gunnison co-op, so... Don't know how that happened. We'll fix it. Okay, so now we're here with Geoff. Apply the handbrake with him. Decouple him. We'll have him roll back here. Yep, that is set correctly. And we're going to run down there and grab onto those cars. Normally, I'd have, uh, I'd have Graham do this, but since this place has got its own switch here, we might as well just do it. Where'd he go? He's still going backwards. What? Oh, yeah, probably because I, I, probably because I told him to go backwards. Okay. Oh, boy. I didn't... Uh, okay. No, I didn't. There. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Mm-hmm. 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 Now it is. All right. Let's get down on Jeff. And get in some of that good trains viewing we all... This is what you come here for, isn't it? All of these um, grain silages over here, I'm calling these collectively as Gunnison uh, Co-op. Uh, but they do actually have all individual names. What are the names? What difference does that make? Absolutely none. Jeff just duck in here and grab onto these. And then we can send Graham on his way. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to figure out exactly what was happening. Oh, we're at the other end now. So these are all Gunnison, 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 and still Gunnison, 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 Gunnison. There's Lyle right there. Okay, back her on up, pal. Now, and I wondered, do we have enough room to back him up far enough? Without going over a switch, I'm actually thinking about that's going to make us derail? I think so, but let's err on the side of safety. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, these are all set. You can tell by the colors. This one is set correctly. This one. Yeah, sure. Nice. No, but I can't believe it's going to go that far, right? Can't. It won't, right? No. Okay, we'll take a chance. We're riding this one, but there'd be absolutely no reason for the conductor to come down here and ride this one. <clears throat> He'd be waiting up there at the switch. Now, how much weight is this 1,500 pulling? Uh, quite a bit. 
4,500 tons. That's a lot. We demand a lot from our switchers on this route. If you're looking for little trains, then you're going to want to watch that other one that I have going. Tidewater. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Do you want to watch Tidewater? That one's got little trains on it. This one's got big trains. Some little trains, but mostly big trains. I'll tell you what. You should just go watch it whether you like little trains or not. You should watch all of my videos. Really. If you think about it, it only makes sense. Is any of this working? Is any of this getting you guys to watch more of my videos? I don't know. <laughs> Looks weird that with uh, Graham sitting right there. Looks like the train is moving, but the engine is standing still. Because it's connected, it's, it's not actually connected to that engine, but it just looks weird. All right, slow it down here. There we go. Now this is the one, the last one for, or first one for Lyle, however you want to put it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... Oh, it got out of its place again. This is a Lyle. Yeah, we are on the Lyles. Let's stop it right there. This one is Lyle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go one this way to the last Gunnison. Apply it. Unhook it. There we go. Now we're going to back this up even further. Very nice. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. I want to go back to this end. I don't know. Now I'm getting real nervous. I don't think it's going to make this without me throwing that other switch. So we're going to throw this other switch down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to throw this one, too. I mean, why not, really? Oh, we got a little uh, service drive here. All the fine folks bringing in green. Okay, so we're going to stick them right here. Right here. We're looking to clear the Gunnison Siding 6 East-Southwest. Is that what that means? East and then Southwest? I didn't make that name up. Uh, I'm not sure why I would say east and then southwest or east switching. Maybe yeah, that's what that means. Okay. Very good. Let's clear this sucker. And then we'll push it forward. Slam it into this car over here, and we'll push the whole bunch forward. So these are all just sitting here in Gunnison until one of these green silos this one here these over here until they ask for it i don't know what that one has Is that corn or something else does it say on here no it's part of the co-op i'm imagining so there's a lot of silos out here all righty Nice. Good solid connection. So now we're up. Probably didn't have to switch that switch. I can see from up here now. 
but that's all right. We're going to move this one now. Is there enough room to fit him all the way on to here in one fell swoop, or is that going to be a no-go? If it is, we'll just stick the rest of them on this track right here. So I'm jumping all over the place now. If you're getting dizzy, this, this just may not be the channel for you. Alrighty. I'm beginning to have faith that it's going to fit. It really is starting to look like it's going to fit. Fly back down to this end. I think so. I think so. Mm, so it's got about that much to go. No, no, maybe not. Maybe not. So we're gonna we're gonna come down here now. We'll stop in the right spot. Yeah, maybe not so much. There we go. Stop it right there. There we are. That's a good spot. And, yeah, maybe not was the correct answer. Uh, So where are we going to cut it at? Tell you what, let's back it up here just, just a tad. And we'll cut it right here. This one was kind of in no no man's land in my brain. So we're going to back that up now. And we're going to put them here on siding 5E switcher. If that's what that means. I say that a lot during my videos. I say, there we go. You know, stuff like that. And then I think to myself, what does that really mean? Where did that come from? That seems like an odd thing to say to somebody. There you go. It's like it's like when you go to the, the grocery store and they hand you your receipt. And they go, there you go. You're like, yep, here I go. What does that mean? What do you mean, here I go? Are you trying to get rid of me or something? I may be reading it into it, into it a little bit too much. Here we go. <laughs> okay. And what a fine job by Jeff here, huh? How about, how about you folks put your hands together for Jeff just a little bit? He did a great job here. He's got the same number here as I think he does in Tidewater. Trips three. Three ones and a three. Trips three. Okay, let's not get into that again. All right, so that's that. Now we're going to come over here to uh, Graham. And he's going to rehook up to the rest of his load here. And then he'll head off to his next destination, which should be Lyle, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it is Lyle. Okay, ho, 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 ho. Here we go. <laughs> that was almost a classic derailment right there. I hope it's, it shouldn't be now, right? I did switch it in time. Okay, there he goes, and boom, he's got it. So, uh, let me look up here, as you're all staring at this. Uh, what's Graham doing now? Yeah, 
So Graham's like, yeah, he's going to Lyle next. He's going to Lyle next. All right, all right, kill the bell. I've had enough of the bell. Oh, <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm on the wrong screen. Something's going on. Okay, so here's Graham now. What we're going to do is we're going to say head over to Lyle right here. We're going to say navigate to a track mark. And we're going to have him navigate to Lyle right down there. Look at that. He's made the calculation and he's on his way. Okay, so that will end Graham's turn. I'm going to pause you while I figure out where we're going next. So here we are now. We are pretending we're a passenger at the Gilby station. And uh, that is Adair right there, who's uh, our next uh, person to look at. And I uh, had a problem. And the problem was that instead of unpausing, I stopped the recording. <laughs> no big deal. Just got to call that number one. And I'll call this number two, part two. And I'll just edit them together. That's the magic of editing. So there's Adair right up there. And these are the new uh, super liners. Uh, these are phase fours. Uh, you got your uh, diner car there. You got your parlor car here. Let's see if I can flip it around without falling off the thing here. Yeah, I can. And then you got a baggage. In a, uh, it's part baggage, part coach, and then all the rest of them are coach. Okay. Oh, hey, oh, 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 oh okay, go back around this way. Okay. Uh, we'll get a good look at them as they uh, all come by. All right. So uh, Adair stopped here in Gilby, picked up 77 passengers, and now he's on his way to Lake Ridge. So let's get Lake Ridge going here. There it is. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 don't do that. You just got to do this first. It won't let you do the bell and the horn after you've started to tell to go somewhere. Lake Ridge. Platform one. Get some. And then we'll load when you get there. Okay, we're going to watch him for five minutes. Uh, so that's 26. That's going to get us to 31, isn't it? So at 1431 is when we'll stop watching him. We'll watch him pull out of the uh, out of the station here. That's kind of cool, huh? Some of these people are waiting for the next train. Don't know why. As you go by, you'll notice that there's nobody sitting on any of the seats. Try not to notice that, though. Uh, but that's because this one is not compatible with passengers. But I like it enough that I'm just able to go around. There. And look at that. There's a couple of diesels sitting right here. Uh, I believe that is uh, somebody. I don't know who that is. Dave? I don't know. Somebody. Uh, but right now, we should probably catch up to the train. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. It's nice. Working our way to 31, and as we usually do with our passenger service here. Well, let, let's wait here now. He's coming up on a full stop. Yeah, absolute stop. Mm -hmm. He's going to creep, creep. You got to creep, creep up on this stop here. A quick drink of Coke? Because I got time. It's going to be a little bit. And that's when it'll switch. Yeah, he's got a high green. Okay, so now we're going to go to the track side, the line side view. And we'll watch this train move along at line side view. Some more grain silos. A lot of grain on this uh, route. And that is a very large oil field that I am very unhappy with. <laughs> those, those, uh, uh, you'll see them again when we go by here on our left. Uh, those tanks are fine, but they just seem kind of white and bleached out. Like there's no texture to them or anything. And so, uh, I mean, they're not horrible, but I, I might, I might change that up. I might switch that out. I do that every once in a while when I see stuff I don't like. And that's what we do. Okay, approaching 40 miles an hour.
on the Superliners. And I guess I'm kind of... This route kind of has more of a commuter route to it than a Superliner route, but... Ah, this is the alternate universe. There you go. Go with that. That's just real party. Now, what happens if you change your view to the last car? I, mean, I know it's going to track the last car, but if we're, when we get real close on line side... <clears throat> right next to the track, will we get a better view? We'll see the engine kind of like, like zip by. This is not a good view. <laughs> it's okay, though. Some water on the right. And right now, I got this uh, program cranked to its ultimate. Well, there you go. There's something. Uh, it gets cranked to its ultimate uh, in... Uh, Visual effects. I got everything cranked as high as it'll go. Except maybe the view distance. May not be exactly. Hey, this is what I was talking about right here. Look at this. See, the engine goes by without us panning right along with it right away. Here's another shot. I know it's 1431. I'm supposed to stop. I can't help it sometimes. This is really nice. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go back to the front. I was counting the number of cars. I forgot if I put seven on there. Not I did. Okay. So I'm going to put you on pause, and we're going to find out what we're doing next. David is where we're at. David, I don't know, episode one, episode two. We, are, we sent towards the North Yard. We see down here he is headed towards the North Yard from the east. Uh, so we're going to stick with him for five minutes now as he's on his way. He won't get there in the five minutes. Trust me. This this route is so huge. It'll take him hours before he gets there. Uh, so let's uh, go to the line side again. Oh, wow. That one, that one was right on the track. So it'll 30, uh, we'll stay with him till 37. And get some more views in. Kind of like rail fanning. He's got a flashing yellow coming up. Is that limited? Is that what that is? Approach medium? Line ahead is clear for two blocks, is what that means. We got a little farm road here. Whatevs, I say. I've been going through and putting the automatic horns on uh, the uh, level crossings bit by bit. Whenever I miss one, I go back and I make that correction. That one there, I, I'm not going to put an automatic crossing. It's just a little farm road. That doesn't it, that doesn't really mean anything. Ooh, this one's in between the tracks. I did not set any of these uh, up, by the way, of these uh, line side cameras. They, I don't know when they're going to appear. This is a nice one. We're right. We're in between the two tracks. It'll be exciting. The train went the other way. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes, creeping along at 23 miles an hour. Prepared to stop. Yep, another Coke drink there. Some people uh, say I drink too much Coke, but you know what? They're probably right. On 
the right there, we have our amber waves of grain. Is that how that goes? Our amber waves of grain. Is that what that was? Oh, I'm, I'm singing the Canadian National Anthem. Purple Mountain Majesty. I don't know. So he is heading over to the North Yard because, uh, I don't know, episode one, episode two, we set out some cars there. Uh, Thomas did. He set out some cars uh, to uh, haul off, you know, to work the industries with. It's, just, it's a little short train. Uh, see, I told you there were small trains in this one, and uh, that's why he's only he's running uh, engines light right now. It's a power move, as they I've heard it called sometimes. He's actually on his way uh, to the North Yard to pull that cut out. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the jungle. This camera's low. This camera was probably placed here before the Turfex came into being. It's 37, but we got to at least see him go by here, right? We're hiding in the bushes. Either we're down laying on our stomachs or the grass is really tall here. I'm not sure which. Okay, so I am going to uh, put you on pause and we'll find out where we're going next. Here we are now with Sean. We've been with Sean before. Let's be with him again. Now we're pretending we are a rail fan and we are standing just inside the safety gate here to get a good picture of Sean. Isn't that nice? All right, so Sean, I uh, just picked up some passengers here, 67 passengers here in Bloomfield, and he's headed on his way now to Fisherville. Very nice. Let's send him to Fisherville. Fisherville, there it is. Boom. Bam. Head on out. And we'll load him when he gets there. Okay, so we're at 39. We'll watch him for five minutes. That's 44 if I'm doing my math right. Okay, Chesapeake in Ohio. I got a CNO hint division. You should watch those videos. Yeah, okay. Now, this one does support passengers. You can see we have quite a full load. Here on the Blue Comet cars. It's the dining car right there. Guy reading his paper. Then that is the observation car at the end there. Okie dokie. So 44 is what we're going to watch him till. Get this angle in here nice. And then we're going to go, of course, to the line side camera. A lot of that in this video. Usually we have a lot of shunting and working industry this time. It's gonna, look at this. Now we're down in the grass. It looks like somebody weed whipped us a spot so we can see through. Now, we might get across three crossings here, and I have set up the automatic horn, or whistle, I should say. We'll see if it works. Not touching the keyboard. Hands off. First one's pretty quick. It may not reach the other two. I just set them up just before rolling on this video. So hoping they're going to work. I don't hear it yet. Oh, here it comes. Oh, come on. Okay, this is... 
Oh, okay, it's working. That's nice. This is ridiculous right there. That camera is not not good. That was pretty good right there. And let's back off just a little bit. There we go. Let's go back to this. And I, really, all these cameras are going to be in the grass? I did not come here to stare at grass. There we go. There's a nice shot. The old K4. cursor out of the way. flowers. It's a little jittery. I don't know why it's so jittery right now. Oh, there we go. The second stop appears to be working. Nice. I really like those automatic whistle things. So we can look at it here from line side without having to worry about missing any uh, crossings. So that's beautiful. And they only work on AI trains. It will not blow the whistle if you are in control. All right, so we're going to put you on pause and uh, find out where we're going next. Felipe is where we are at, and Felipe right now is at the uh, Esso Flats Ore Mine. This is iron ore uh, that is being picked up here. Uh, and we are going, he's got six of them done. He's got four more to go. So this is what we are going to work on now. Now, Felipe also has with him coal that he picked up from the coal mine. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you. Why? Because I feel like it. So over here, you see he parked in this uh, yard here. He parked all these coal, this, this stretch of coal right here. Uh, he'll be coming back to pick those up uh, to get them on their way. But he just got them out of the way right now so he can work that uh, industry. Here are some more empty uh, ore cars that were not, the industry did not call for these. We're just leaving them here for future use. And then we got a bunch of these uh, well cars here waiting as well. What, what's this up here? Oh, and it looks like we have a uh, Lackawanna cement car waiting here, too, because there is a cement factory in this area as well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go right back to them. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we are going to back this up just a little bit to get the next one underneath the shoe. I think it's back up, right? No, no, no. Wrong way. There we go. It was back up. I just clicked the wrong way the first time. All right. To about right there ought to do it. Perfect. I'm going to come over here. Apply. There we go. Now he, oh, what, what do we got here? What's he, what's he working with? Uh, it doesn't say. I, 
I'm not real good at identifying engines. I may have said that before, but he's got a uh, what is GP forty dash two. This one here is a uh, GP thirty eight dash two, and this one here is a, uh, a GP forty dash two. Okay, I sure hope this thing is set right. It should be. It is. And then this one should be as well. It is. Okay. So we're going to go on to uh, the second track here. Track two of the coal mine. Or no, no, no. Track two of the iron ore mine. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. Here he comes. Slow down for my conductor. Leaping lizards, he's off. Do that. Do this. And forward we go. We're going to move on to track two here. Of the iron ore yard. Leaps, uh, three engines are rated uh, in totality 8,000 horsepower. And once he gets all this uh, iron ore picked up, as well as the coal he's already picked up from somewhere else, he'll be at 6,500. So he's still got some room to pick up some more stuff before he heads uh, up to Gunnison. And then in Gunnison is where it will be reclassified. And then once it's reclassified in Gunnison, it'll be shipped over to the North Yard to be shunted to the, to the classification hump. That's how I do it. That's how I'm running it. All right, let's fly back over here now. Flip around this way so we can get him onto track three. All right. Yeah. So uh, that might be a roundabout way of doing things, you know, with the Gunnison Yard, the North Yard and everything. But I've been watching uh, videos on uh, uh, Waycross Yard, which is in Georgia. And there are cars that are in Florida that they that they take up to Waycross, Georgia, reclassify them. And some of them are reclassified to return right back to Florida. I kid you not. Look it up. So if they could do it, why can't I do it? There we go. Let's jump on again and whoop, get some. There we go. So he's just got to spot this car and he'll be all set. His turn will be over. Good old Philippe. Or Felipe. 
probably how you pronounce it, right? Could be Philippe. I think it's Felipe. Warn anybody who might be standing in between the cars or too near the cars. Don't get squashed. Very nice. Now let's move over this way and let's bag it on up, peeps. Oh, here we, here we go. That's kind of, that's good enough. Move these into place here. All right, a little bit faster than that. We're on a schedule, people. Okay, there we go. And that, these three cars have been spotted successfully. And now I'm spotting the time, and the time says we're out of it. Yeah. As usual, I can't believe it. Let's stand up here like, like we're a worker here. Uh, and we're just looking down on the train. That's nice. Uh, okay, so that's it once again. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that ends episode three here of the UMR. Uh, I am going to continue running all three of my series, which are Tidewater, CNO, and this one here, the UMR and Trains. And I'm also going to continue my farming simulator videos, which don't get nearly as many views. But you know what? I like doing that series. If nobody wants to watch it, great. I'll watch them myself later on. And in my last uh, video, uh, I also asked you guys to give the uh, like button a push and, and the subscribe button a push. And, you know, because you can always unsubscribe and unlike. Uh, I'm still at just as many subscribers as when I asked you to do that. So what I'm assuming happened is that like maybe two to three hundred of you hit subscribe and then you came back later on and unsubscribe, which is fine. You tried it out. You gave it a shot. And then you said, it's, this is just not for me. And then you unsubscribe. So I appreciate you doing that. Uh, but yeah, so subscribe. Uh, tell other people about me if you think I'm any good. <laughs> or tell people about me if you think I'm crap. Whatever's. Uh, so here we are uh, at the uh, SO Flats ore mine. And if you don't want to be an ore worker at the SO Flats ore mine, well, then this just may not be the channel for you.